All right, so uh, quarterback news. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, who I feel like is a solid quarterback, he got a big pay deal by the Raiders just last season, now takes a, uh, a deal with the Rams to be their backup quarterback, obviously, as they have Stafford. You know, I thought maybe they'd bring back Carson Wentz, given that he, uh, you know, looked all right uh, in the time we saw him. They do have Destin Bennett on their roster. Uh, probably not great news for any, uh, I don't know, Bennett head out there who was hopeful holding out hope that things would go well there. Um, you know, it, it, it's an interesting, interesting move. So, you know, I mean, uh, Stafford's 36. I don't see any reason why, like, I don't think this is like a move for the future or, or anything like that. Maybe there's some hope uh, that he can get, you know, be, be good enough that once uh, you once you have Stafford leave that he could take over. But I don't think that's what they're doing here because it's not Garoppolo's young. Uh, I think what they're doing here is just simply looking for a good backup. I mean, you know, we saw when they lost Stafford for the season that they kind of ended up having a lost season. So adding Garoppolo might be a way to prevent something like that from happening. Say what you want about Garoppolo. He's probably one of the best backups in the league at this point. Uh, you know, he's a very but capable quarterback and a guy who has been a starting quarterback in a Super Bowl in another conference championship, which he lost the conference championship to the Rams on the Rams' way to winning the Super Bowl. So uh, it's it's a bit of a, a bit of a surprise, I think, that no other team went after him. Now, one of the things that I think that why he's kind of almost having to be relegated to a backup role is he is suspended for the first two games. So him being a backup kind of negates that unless, you know, unless Stafford gets hurt in week one or two, uh, then, you know, that's pretty much the only downside of, you know, the suspension if you're signing him to be a backup. But I do wonder if a quarterback needy team, maybe, you know, maybe like Pittsburgh that didn't want to go to Garoppolo route in part because you'd only get him for 15 games instead of the full 17 games. So uh, it is a an interesting move by the, uh, by the, you know, Rams as, you know, getting a guy like Garoppolo. But again, it's worth mentioning I didn't think Garoppolo was horrible last year. Like, he kind of came in and looked like Garoppolo, I thought. He was just given a big contract. So now getting a backup contract like this, I mean, you know, getting getting a good quality backup, not the, not the worst thing in the world for the Rams, obviously. You know, not quite making up for losing Aaron Donald, the news that happened this morning. But, you know, at least you're getting, you know, uh, at least you're getting a, that position kind of looking okay. So yeah, kind of an interesting move. But those are my thoughts on Garoppolo going to the Rams. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. Of course, as always, thanks for watching.